Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's September the 13th and we're reading in Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 1. He begins, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ loved us, and gave himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savour. Now that isn't my password, but that's where I want to begin. That's where Paul begins. My password is going to be a little phrase which is in verse 18 where Paul says be filled with the Spirit be filled with the Spirit and lots of times we look upon a phrase like that being filled with the Spirit as being some sort of a um, an ecstatic um, vision or an experience in which we're taken off into another world in which our minds are enraptured by Christ but that isn't, I don't think, really what Paul is saying. If we want to know what it is to be filled with the Spirit, then we need to go back to verse 1 and 2. Let's read it again. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also loved us. Being filled with the Spirit is not a one-off experience. We might all of us have a one-off experience sometime in our lives or maybe more than once in which we are just completely enraptured by Christ. It's a wonderful thing. We all might have that. But you know, being filled with the Spirit is a much longer and more consistent and more daily experience and it is to walk in love as Christ hath loved us and given himself as an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling saviour and that's what we're to do we are to be followers of God we are to give ourselves as an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savour and may I say <coughs> that when you do that you are filled with the spirit Paul goes on in verse 3 he says but fornication and uncleanness and covetousness let them not be once named among you as becometh saints nor filthiness nor foolish jesting foolish talking nor jesting which are not convenient but rather giving of thanks so when you're a person whose mind is involved in the giving of thanks then you're filled with the Spirit and then he goes on he says do not be partakers of evil men walk as children of light now when you walk as a child of the light you are filled with the Spirit. He says, Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. It is a shame even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. Verse 15 See that you walk circumspectly, not like a fool, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding the will, what the will of the Lord is. And don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Being filled with the Spirit is walking circum circumspectly. It is redeeming the time. It is being wise and knowing what the will of the Lord is. That's what walking in the Spirit is. Verse 19, he says, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to each other? No, <laughs> to the Lord. Now when you are involved in a worship like that, when you are involved in singing 
uh, it, you might be completely alone but you might be doing this together with others when you are involved in singing in your heart hymns and psalms and spiritual songs and making melody in your heart to the Lord then you're filled with the Spirit and giving thanks always for all things not sometimes for some things no no we give thanks always for all things and when you do that your life is filled with the Spirit of God your heart will be overflowing your spirit will be rejoicing your life will be fruitful your ministry will reach the hearts of the people because what they see in you is something of a sweet smelling savour not to men but a sweet smelling savour to the Lord that's what it is to be filled with the Spirit and when a man or a woman is filled with the Spirit like that they're walking in love we're to walk in love we're to live in the love of God that will overflow our lives and our ministry to be a sweet smelling savour to God what a wonderful life the Christian life can be well God bless you looking forward to speaking to you again another day God bless you have a great day bye for now